So my main interest is taking uh, technology from, from the lab literally to the street. This bike is one of the most efficient and versatile motorcycles on the planet. And one of the most amazing. That's because its 800cc engine gets its kicks from this crazy looking stuff. It's algae, a simple photosynthetic organism that happens to be a biofuel bulging with horsepower. Nathan Shep from the University of California in San Diego is on a mission to get it into all our fuel tanks. Its energy density is, is very close to diesel. It burns actually a lot cleaner. Uh, the exhaust coming out the other end is much cleaner. All these things are, are part of the reason we want to move to a sustainable fuel like algae biodiesel. You can extract fuel from all kinds of plants, but nothing comes close to algae. It's 30 times more efficient than its nearest rival. It can be nurtured from the tiniest cell in the purest conditions, and then grown and grown and grown. So they start right here, and this is sort of the lawn of algae, and then what we can do is we'll pick a single colony once these grow up a little, and we'll put them into a 50 mil flask right here. And they grow like this for, for about, you know, any, anywhere from five to 10 days in here. And then you have to basically scale it up to maybe a one or two liter culture, and that's enough to take outside, and that's really where we produce the most. Mostly aquatic, like seaweed, algae grows by capturing sunlight and turning it into sugar, a perfect energy source. But best of all, it grows pretty much anywhere. We can grow algae biomass using salt water, uh, wastewater from sewage treatment plants or, or other things. They don't require um, uh, traditional uh, uh, fertile land like, like farm space. Uh, we can grow it in the desert using salt water and, uh, and, and taking CO2 from power plants. It's this grow anywhere ability that scientists are getting excited about. The big disadvantage of existing biofuel crops like corn, palm, and soya is that they use up land we need to grow food, and they consume way more resources. But the algae in these ponds is not quite ready to put in your tank yet. Uh, we harvest, we centrifuge the algae, and then we put the algae on the drying table here. And it ends up, as you can see, just pellets like this, and in these pellets uh, are the oil. Finally, using a heated press, the oil is squeezed out of the pellets. The end product really is, is almost identical to what petroleum diesel is. You know, there's no difference in the final product. And nothing is wasted. All this stuff becomes good animal and fish food, apparently. Nice.